Hey guys, Lunar Lady here, and this is a small little starter. It um has it's can become three bedrooms really easily. It's only two bedrooms up on the gallery right now, but um it's uh but it is. It has got three rooms. It has a master bedroom and two smaller rooms that can be converted into kids' bedrooms, plus um, one and a half baths with an outside shower. And um, yeah, so you'll see that soon. Um, he, it's at an angle because you can have a bigger space for less money if you do it at an angle and yeah I'm all about more space less money um it was a little bit more challenging to build it on an angle but it came out pretty cute I really like it it's really brightly colored and it's supposed to be beach themed so um if you guys have uh, the the uh, new mod by Nando, which is the uh, Tropical Island pack, I think this house would be kind of, or the Tropical Getaway, I guess. I think this house would be kind of perfect for it. Um, it's really brightly colored. It's up on stilts. They, I don't keep that many stilts. Later on, I get rid of some um, and use the extra money in the actual house build. Um, it is up on the gallery. You can find it under my um, under my origin ID, Pumpkin Panic. It is um, it is less than I believe twenty two thousand, which is the which is and which is furnished, um, and that's the price if you get it. Um, that's the that like it's I think you get twenty two thousand if you are um oh like if you start with I think four members or more in your family um I don't know I think it might be nineteen thousand but I can't remember I know it might go up to twenty thousand I I used I I took a three sim family and I bought it so. I mean it should be fine <laughs> right um, so yeah so as long as you have more than two sims it should be perfectly fine to buy um, the downstairs there is a combined kitchen dining living area and the two rooms one I have as an activity room and the other is a just a bedroom with two kids beds in it but you could if you want to have them have separate bedrooms you could easily take out the activity room and um, yeah the layout changes a little bit by little bit and I eventually have um, it eventually has a smaller bathroom downstairs but you're able to open the door to the activity room by without it slamming into the door from the other room so it's all good and here's a little kitchen area um i think in the official build like i went in and started playing with it and took out a bunch of stuff while i was playing it but um i think in the official build that's up on the gallery it has the dining table in it still um and yeah it does like this dining table and some chairs around it it still has and uh here i'm putting in a television viewing area um and like a lot of this like a lot of this living layout changes a little because i change up the bathroom and stuff so yeah i move I like yeah you see I moved the door over and here I made the little blue green bedroom a little bit bigger and I put the uh, TV under the stairs it is under the stairs and it is fully watchable where it is um, here I'm going in and deleting some columns because honestly we didn't need that many um, and 
I wanted, I decided I wanted to make this a starter build because I was so close to it being a starter price. And so I went in and I bought cheaper furniture than I had previously. And like I deleted all those columns and um, I think I go in and delete a few more before this is over. Um, yeah, so as you can see, uh, I want like one of the reasons why I changed that bedroom into having two beds in it instead of just the one is because I didn't want to have more than one dresser because I could save a little bit of money that way and buy other stuff like fun activities and I'm sorry that it was going all over the place there for a second oh my gosh it just bounces around so much um yeah so it's it, it's a really like fun little place um Yep. Oh, sorry about that. I had somebody interrupt me and I had to go back and yeah, well, the build's almost over. Um, I'm putting in some decorations and that kind of thing. I think that after you buy the house and everything, you're only going to have like a hundred simoleons left. So you guys better have a job. Um, yeah, so, uh, just you know there's not really much in the upstairs bath bedroom but I mean as time goes on I'm sure you'll be able to add something I decided I really needed a bookshelf somewhere because come on we all need bookshelves somewhere um we're in the screenshots now but there's not really much to see it is a starter house after all just some small rooms um now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot a trash can. Uh, way to go, me. So I guess go in and sell a couple of your children's beloved posters and put in a garbage in a garbage can. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I hope you like it. And please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Have a great day.